the legendary Super Saiyan. All right, we're back on another Legends video. Of course, the Vegeta and Trunks banner is coming out tonight as we speak. So if you're all going to be summoning that, definitely best of luck to all your summons. And hopefully you get what you want and all that. But obviously, that's why we're here in this video to help determine whether or not you guys should actually be summoning the banner in the first place. Or you should just straight up skip it. Let's find out in this video. Obviously, we do have the banner image right here. This is not going to be the full banner. It's probably going to be like maybe like one or two other characters potentially added to this listing of LFs and all that. But these are going to be the main options that are going to be on the banner so just judging from this listing of characters already we have vegeta and trunks obviously being the new main hype summonable lf character you're going to be summoning for which they seem very very ridic ridiculous indeed could potentially even be the best unit in the game uh topping beast gohan and tag fours and all that as right now or at the very least a potential top three unit in the game somewhere within that ranking i don't know but they seem very very good indeed we also have dragon fist goku coming back for the first time right here the lf super saiyan trunks coming back as well lf rose also with this recent zenkai is going to be finally featured on the banner so any of you guys that weren't able to zenkai him or anything like that or straight up don't have him you have your opportunity to pull him right here obviously androids as well coming back for the first time on a proper new lf banner we also have the zamal as well which i can't really comment anything about the zamazu because we don't know anything about him other than the fact that he is blue as you can see right here and then obviously vegeta and trunks are yellow and then uh, obviously we do have ella future gohan as well coming back on the banner so pretty much from just this listing of characters you can pretty much build a full future team with every single color wheel available to you so off the bat that's definitely pretty damn good if you're a future main this banner is for you 100 even if you're a vegeta clan main obviously this unit is going to be a very huge buff for vegeta clan this guy obviously if you don't have him is a huge asset for that team although tag super saiyan force do exist but like i don't know this guy can still help you out with your vegeta clan team and all stuff i don't know it's definitely more so of a future banner but it also helps out vegeta clan god key to an extent i guess with these three characters but even still i don't know if god key is really going to be like in the best position as of right now but still you get a buff for that team and then obviously hybrid saiyans are absolutely thriving beyond belief because again this guy's easily i will say the best green for hybrids right now obviously this is pr this might even end up being the best yellow unit but then again you'll still have future going on just in general I would say for this banner, if you are a hybrid Saiyan main, if you're a Vegeta clan main or a future main, I would definitely say it's definitely not a bad idea to summon on this banner whatsoever. And I would probably recommend honestly summoning. But if you're not really that invested into any of those teams and all that, then I would probably say maybe just skip at least for now. Obviously, do keep in mind that potentially even in about two weeks from now, the reason why I do say that is because if we do look in about like two weeks from now, I'll end up being probably like the 27th, 28th around there. And uh, if we do look at last year, when Ultra Super Gogeta came out being the main Ultra for Legends Festival last year, he did in fact come out on the 24th of December. So potentially like about two weeks from now we could end up getting the next level Ultra for Legends Festival. So I will say for the most part for overall, it might be a little bit of a tall task for most players to be able to do and all that because you're going to be, you know, tempted immediately to summon frame one when the banner comes out. But I'll maybe say the safest option is to just wait it out, see what the ultra is, maybe wait another two weeks or something until the reveal and stuff, see who the ultra is, see how good the ultra is. And then at that point, depending on how things play out, you can either choose a summon for the ultra or you can just skip the ultra and then come back to this banner and then just continue summoning because this banner is most likely going to end up blasting all the way until the end of Legends Festival just like the Tag Super Saiyan 4's banner right here because even the Tag Super Saiyan 4's banner who's, which has been out for like about three weeks now isn't going away until the 18th which is pretty much when the celebration ends so this banner is pretty much going to be lasting probably at the very least until then so you have plenty of time to summon this banner the double rates or the double Z power drops and the 30% sparking rates aren't going to go anywhere pretty much until the banner actually just fully goes so you're good to go in that department so I'll probably say again the safest bet is to probably just wait it out play the waiting game this time around and at that point wait for the ultra and then depending on how things play out with that you can either summon for that or summon for them but outside of that if you want to summon immediately i would definitely say again if you're a vegeta clan main if you're a future main hybrid same main super invested into those teams this is definitely the banner for you 100 percent so uh yeah there's that obviously we also have these characters and then we also do have some new ex is coming along as well with the super saiyan blue goku ex and a super saiyan blue vegeta as well i'm hoping that they're good and man those artworks are freaking fire that's all i gotta say but yeah that's pretty much my thoughts on this banner again if you are going to be summoning best of luck to you guys hopefully you get what you want and uh, 
uh, definitely expect some showcases obviously from your boy i will be summoning of course because i'm definitely excited for this character and i'm interested to see exactly how they're going to perform and all that so definitely looking forward to using them uh starting tonight and all on that so that being said though again hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully this somehow helped you out in some form and all that and with that being said i will see y'all in the next one peace out have a great one y'all